Greetings. Good evening. Rupert Bear. Hamburg. That weed again now. It's a beautiful night out, actually. Um, I would say it's quiet, but there's actually a car coming down the block. Just jump in front of the car. Yeah, buddy. For the most part, this is how quiet my area of Boca is. Except for that one car, there's barely anything going on. Bayoni. Wow, those car lights fucking gave me the uh, dots everywhere. What's up, man? Haven't seen you lately. Name doesn't ring a bell. Nicholas Vineyard. Name doesn't ring a bell. Oh my god. <laughs> Where are all these, these are random accounts I've never, well, I shouldn't say that, I know some of these are. Jim Rat Ryan, what's up? What time is it there? A uh, little past, it's 9.03. My brother goes to Boca High, how far are you from there? Boca High? Uh, Five, ten minutes. Ice pack immediately. I'm going to finish smoking this and I'm going to go sit by the pool. What's going on with you guys? Go live with Nick. I don't know who Nick is. I, I, I've stopped going live with people I don't know. I've refrained from doing that. Chuck E. Cheese Ranch. Good evening, everybody. What is the topic of discussion tonight? I don't know. You know, there's, there's, a, there's a lot going on. Um, I got tidbits of information, but I think I'm going to lean on a lot of you guys to um, to tell me, to fill me in what's going on. Uh, I will fill you in on my day. My day has been fantastic. Um, last night, I stayed up to 2, close to 3 a.m. editing a whole bunch of stuff for AEW, All, Ac <laughs> All Access, which is a, a, new, a new thing that they're going to be doing. And then I... I literally spent the entire day with my kids, um, the beach in the morning, basketball with my kid, my son, watching movies, just a fantastic day with my kids. So, um, overall a good day, good day fans. And I decided, you know, they're down to bed, you know, I come out here and, uh, talk to some of you guys. Christopher Overhaul, what's up? Look, I got the shoe, the shoes for you, Christopher Overhaul. There you go. There you go. Just for you, Christopher Overhaul. It is the Cheese King. I am not reading that. Jesus Christ. 
how are the hocus feeling? They're feeling great. I'm, I'm putting already a lot of miles on them. I can, I can already tell they're a little horribly worn. How's Dale? Dale's good. I, I, I like I said at the beginning of this, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get a gist of, of things that are going on. Um, I think I, I, I can come from a place where without knowing the full scope of everything, I can understand where Dale's coming from because at some point you get to the point where, you know, you mind your own business and then your kids and family are dragged back into this. I don't know whose fault it is. I don't know who's behind it. We'll never know truly probably, but um, I, I completely, I understand. I can relate exactly where Dale's coming from. Completely. So, I spoke to Dale like three days ago on the phone. Cheese needs to spin camera as I enter the gym and tag you. There you go. That's copyrighted by yours truly. Why did he get rid of his account? Who got rid of his account? I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. Some of you guys got to do better in your troll accounts because I can tell from the way you guys speak, you're the same person. There's an actual art to, to doing that. You don't have to be in cybersecurity to, to follow like certain verbiage in the way people write to know it's the same person. Mr. Squat Guy, we we need you to kick Jay's ass again? No. I got employees to worry about. I told you guys, I'm retired. I have no hatred towards anybody. I'm not getting in any fights. I'm not challenging anybody to Spanish River Park. I'll referee a fight. I'd love to be there to referee, referee a fight. I saw a live, well, uh, let me read out the name so it's not me saying it. WCL2723, I saw a live, Dale was upset, rightfully so. Um, put, put, put screenshots aside. Um, you, got, you got people targeting Dale's family again. And um, that's always fucked up. It's always messed up. So... No matter who's doing it, no matter who's behind it, who's telling people to do, who knows? I, I don't know all the all the facts, but Dale has every right to be upset. We've all been through it. We've all had it happen to, to, to us. Myself, Brad, uh, Dale, Hamburg. Um, so it's it's. Uh, We've all, we've all been around the block a lot of times and yeah, you know, first time, second time. Okay. It just, it, it, it becomes, it becomes a, um, a real pain to have to, to, to deal with the attacks going to people not even involved in any of this. Cody Houston wanted cigars are bad for you, really. I didn't know that. Uber Bear asks, what's what what's happening with Dale's family? Uh you got trolls that are targeting Dale's ex wife and his kids and his family. And at a, at a certain point, you get tired of it, you know? Frosted Tiger, what kind of late night that word activity is going on here? No, man, just outside, enjoying the beautiful weather. You should know you're here. It's a beautiful night out. Jer Wetzel, where's Nate? Instagram is fine. Instagram is fine channel is inactive. 
Um, I have no idea. Nate is like MIA on any of my messages, so I wouldn't know. Cody Houston, one, I don't smoke. I smoke a cigar probably once a month, maybe more than that. These have been inside of my, my, my cigar packet since we're in the end of February. I want to say October. What happened to Jason? You should know that by now. You guys should know. I shouldn't have to explain that. Uh, Rupert Bear, uh, what exactly are they doing to Dale's family when you say targeting, sending pizzas? I I'm not gonna go into that stuff. That Dale can can enlighten on all that. I know what's going on because it's the same shit that we all go through. The same thing. I was nearby today. Are at the hab the habit oh habit burger? Which one? The one on military frosted tiger? There's a few there's a few habit burgers around me. Why well, don't miss this post anymore? Who would wanna like do any of this with the fucking negativity that comes with it? I'm I I listen, I stay out of trouble well for the most part. I I just like fucking shot myself in my own foot, but I I, I stay in my own lane, I do my own thing. I don't have hatred towards anybody. I don't even have hatred towards Johnny Bravo. If Johnny, if John called me tomorrow, I'll have a conversation with him. There's no hatred. Our, oh, that's a good question. That's a very... Jer Wetzel asks, are CompTIA certifications recognizable in the IT field? All dependent on what you're applying for. If you're a regular desktop te technician or level one help desk, yep, they matter. But I think, to me, experience will always trump certifications and, and degrees. Uh, just, the, read what Jim Rat Ryan just said. For those asking, Dale did a live explaining everything. Go to Cheese's channel videos posted there. There you go. Frosted Tiger says, saw a dude on the side of the turnpike snatch up an iguana for lunch today. That's not alien down here. For, for everybody who thinks that's like a uh, urban myth, it's not. Especially when it gets too cold on here and they fall out of the trees. The, the Haitians run and scoop them up. Bravo has FBI watching my phone activity. What, the full-blooded Italians? That's what the FBI stands for to Johnny Bravo, the full-blooded Italians. I should, empty threats like that, FBI. Yeah, I think the FBI have way better things to do. Bravo and McLeod are cool together, now very respectable. I don't know about cool, but I don't, I don't have any hatred towards him. Joe Wetzel says, thanks. Going for the cert this next six months, which CompTIA cert? A plus, Network Plus, which which cert? <laughs> Any balloons over Boca? No. Except for this asshole drive. Look, look at this. Slow the fuck down. Going like fucking 70 miles an hour down a residential street. Megatron. Like I was saying, there's no balloons over Boca. If there are any, it's the Goodyear blimp. Frosted Ice, uh, Haitian Central Americans are the folks. No, no way. 
I completely disagree with that one. I watch Haitians jump out of trucks all the time during the cold snaps we get and scoop up iguanas. Cody Houston wants to admire your workout dedication. What, you don't think they're super cringe? That's what I'm going for. Don't you know that? Jer Wessel says A plus. Uh, okay, so I, I'm assuming you're just getting your feet wet in the IT field. Uh, am I assuming correctly by 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 you saying A plus? Dale drove by. Yeah, he's fucking these guys. These guys think there's nobody here on these streets because it's fucking empty and let's. There's a lot of drag racing that sometimes goes on here, like that. That's the direction he came in. Keep up the good work. I'm trying. I shouldn't say that. I don't like saying I'm trying. That's what I'm doing. I do what I can with the time that I have. That's what I did today too. After I took the kids to the... I Actually, I went to the gym... Took the kids to the beach, came back, had a fantastic lunch with my daughter and my son, uh, went to the park, came back, watched some movies, hung out, played, you know, a hand of, of Connect Four, not a hand, a game of Connect Four. Is Kia still living nearby? Who's Kia? Oh, you mean Kai. Yes, Kai Kai still lives in my complex. Kai Green is a very nice nice gentleman. Did you just assume? Yeah. <laughs> Is that a pretty nice neighbor? Doesn't look like no Riviera Beach. No, this is far from the murder capital of, of I think, Florida or maybe the United States. But I, I purposely picked this area because during the weekend time, for the most part, like these are all across the street where those lights are. Those are all businesses. So Monday through Friday, it is congested here. And then down over there, there's all businesses. But... um. For the most part, during the weekend, it's very quiet. <laughs> Careful, someone could miss a gear come crashing through your house. <laughs> That's right, Kim Fedass Haynes. Do or do not. There's no try. Actually... Trying is the intention to fail. I put that on a shirt because it's very true. A lot of times you say, well, I'm going to try my best. It means you're, 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 you're intending to fail. I usually say, for the most part, yeah, I'll, I'll take care of that or, or no. I try to remove try from my vocabulary. Because trying, for the most part, is your intention to fail. Well, I'm going to try to be there. Why are you trying to be there? It's either you're going to be there or you're not going to be there. Or you, you state a logistic. Or, oh, well, I don't know if travel is going to be an a issue. Or This guy's riding his bike in the middle of the street. Fucking, he's got balls. He's got balls. What's going on? Last death row meal. Good question. Oh, man. If I was on death row, what last meal would I want? Probably pizza. Or maybe, I don't know, you would think steak or like that, but my, my, my biggest weakness is pizza.
cucked a iguana whisper. You don't have to be a whisperer. They're 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 everywhere here. The National Gate Welders Association have suspended. Oh. <laughs> There's Dale. What's up, Dale? Everybody's asking me questions about you, Dale. I can't speak for you. But what I what I will say is I understand where you're coming from because we've all been there. Um I I can totally relate to your anger and your 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 frustration. Completely relate to that. Maybe trolls or whoever, but you know, I totally get where you're coming from, my friend. I'm a cloud drive. Rename your network at home. Hey, you guys would laugh at my uh, my SSID for my my network environment. But are you hunting iguanas at night? No, nah. they're all they're all up in these trees right now. They're all hiding. Go sit by the pool. <sighs> Jim, Rat, Jim Rat Ryan, man, you, you, you. I won't read that out loud, but some funny shit. God damn it. I have to go around. Uno momento. It might it might freeze up. Jump in the pool, yeah, buddy. Well, that's not very nice, John Bravo's last mugshot. You shouldn't say stuff like that. You're being very mean right now. You're being mean, bro. There's a lot of bugs here. I'm getting the shade. Eh. sit by the barbecue. Where's the lights? Oh, put up my feet. Oh. There is no try. You either live your life on a way that provides change or you don't. Just live in the now. Gun at your head. Best pizza place you've eaten at? Oh, my God, man. That's There's a place in New York I used to always go to, but it's a shame it's not the same anymore. It was called D's. And I know you guys are going to make jokes and puns about it, but it was D-E-E-S. And uh, it was on Metropolitan in Queens, and I used to go there all the time with all my buddies. It was the one place to go, but one of the times I went back, I think they got, like, new owners. It was a shame because it went downhill, but for the most part, any, any, um, any, any New York spot will, will do justice. Cody Houston won AEW or WWE, which is better? I can't say which is better. I can't be biased either. They both have quality uh, content, quality stuff going on. I love you too. <laughs> go live with Dale. Dale, if Dale wants to go live, you can go live with me. 
I don't know what he's got going on. He might, he might, you know, he might be sitting on somebody's front porch right now. <laughs> uh, Chuck E. Cheese Ranch says, tell Dale cheese never wanted to hurt him. It's those you love the most that you end up pushing away. Uh, Cutie Houston won. Do you think Roman will lose at Mania? That's a good one. I don't know. I mean, I think they're going to get him over the thousand day streak of being being champ. So that'll be I don't know if if I don't know if he's going to make it to a thousand days by WrestleMania because it's like 30 something days away. But they they might. I, I don't know. That's a that's a hard one. I, I I do think they want to push Cody. So, it that's a toss up. I really don't know. You know, I I think I think at some point you have to dethrone the tribal chief and and make Cody or somebody else the face of the company. You can't be the champion forever. Those days of you know those type of. Bob Backlund and Bruno Sammartino and Hulk Hogan days of like a thousand days as champion. Those days, you rare, rare. Uh, Megatron, what's up? That's my name. Do they serve peanuts at DC's? <laughs> Frosted Tiger, why do you guys attract people that want to bring you harm? Um, that's a that's another good question. It, there's real no answer to that. That's just the nature of what it is. I've said this before, and you know, there's no positivity. Uh, I should say this: it's about eighty-five to ninety percent negativity in this universe, and you'll never escape it. You'll never get away with it. It's just the way things are. And there's a good ten percent, maybe fifteen percent. Of, of of positivity and things you, you, you meet good people out of this universe. Like Dale's one of them. Um, Hamburg's another one. Kim Haynes. Uh, Dave McCarthy. A lot of people I've met and talked to, um, some I don't know who they are, their names. They want to remain nameless. I, you know, I speak to Jim Rat Ryan pretty often. He's a cool dude. Um, Chuck E. Cheese Ranch, you know, Megatron, you know, even though they, they, uh, they play both sides and I understand that. I get that. You guys, you guys stay loyal to who you want to stay loyal to. I'm only teasing. Any chance of a misfit reunion? Uh, you're asking the wrong person, Frosty Tiger. You're asking I, again. I stay, stay to myself. Uh, how about, it's a 15 year old with Pee Wee with multiple accounts. Oh shoot! Wait. Oh, Dale Chance wants to go. That's right, Bayoni. I don't speak to you because you're me. I'm not even me. Dale yeah, wants to go live. There he is. What's up? What's up? Hey, man. How's it going? Uh, it's going good. How How's life? Oh, I'm I'm good. You're gonna are you, are you here to challenge somebody to Spanish River Park on December 26th? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> you better hope he shoots straight. <laughs> As long as I could be the ref, that's all I ask for. I'll put, a, I'll get one of the the, the referee shirts, and I'll, I'll be, I'll be, uh, I'll be the ref you guys, you guys need. You know the the bad part about all this is, man, is I don't care what he says about me, and then he can try and deny it all day long. And you know, you got Chuck E. Cheese Ranch who's saying, oh, you know, and I get Chuck E. Cheese side of it. He's he's not really play him I mean well, he probably is playing both sides but you know the thing is Jay can say all he wants but when he goes in there and tells people to do it and then the bad problem is the person that sent person that sent that is evidence of it of Jay doing it 
And then he's going, I, I talked to you last night on the phone. Yeah. And it was so funny. After we got off the phone, this other person called me right after that and was talking to me about it and was like, dang, dude. And he's like, like, you know, said, I meant to, I meant for that, you to see that. So you knew that he was bullshitting, that he was trying to say it was fake because it's what he does. I said, so okay. they, sent, they sent you video clips of Jay typing so, out messages. So you know how whenever like me and you a message, we'll message yeah. on Messenger, we'll message. So this guy's typing. He has a phone and he's typing. You can see him typing, recording it yeah. while he's typing, and Jay is typing back. It says J M Michael Ma or J Masters in sixty nine, whatever it is, with the green dot, and it says it's typing, and you see it saying it's typing. Right. And then all of a sudden the message pops up. The one that I posted yesterday, you know what? that was a screenshot of another one that was sent to me. I was going to say this to you, and it, this is complete. I'm not, I'm not defending anybody here, but I, I was thinking to myself how clever these trolls are about, you know, not just the Photoshopping, but, but stuff like that, like, you know, creating, creating videos. Because they live off the drama, and you know that, I know that. Um, but, but, I mean, it, I And you know what? And I thought of that, too, but when he's got – one phone in his hand recording and he's typing on Instagram. He goes to Instagram and go and you can see he goes to his message, clicks his message, and it's uh, a message from Jay. So then he opens the message and he starts typing and Jay's typing back. Right then, just like that. So there, there you can't fake yeah. that. That's what pissed me off beyond belief. Like I told Jay, own up and be a fucking man and say, Yeah, I did it, so what? And I'd be like, Oh, okay, cool. Instead, he wants to go, oh, it's all fake because he's a pussy. <clears throat> you know, the bad, the bad thing is I want so badly to release all his mom's information, the pictures of him laying in the hospital with the breathing tubes coming out. And uh, what's the point? What's it going to do? Now, nah, don't stoop to that level because then, then you'll just be a, like another fa nameless face of soul that, you know, that go after our kids and families. Yeah, and, I, and that, I, you know, it's the thing, so – this oh, other one, this, this other guy sending me stuff like, "Oh, Jay Sen doing this," and I got pictures off my dad's off my dad's uh, Facebook of me and my dad, and then there's pictures of my wife and kids or Cheryl, my ex wife and kids on there that they distorted their face. I'm like, whatever, man. I, I'm not going to be able to stop everything. Yeah. It's, okay, I know Jay said it. I know Jay told him to do it. I know Jay was typing it. Okay, well, one day. He'll meet me face to face, and we're gonna see what this guy say. And I'm telling you what, it's just I, I'm to that point. I don't care if I go to jail, I'll go to jail. If we got, if we got to do, and he's somebody sent me a thing saying he's telling his sister, or he has a sister that's a lawyer that's looking. I'm like, I don't even think Jay has a sister. I was like, so I don't care. That's I was like, let right. him have all the lawyers he wants to look into it. That's fine. That's a big rob. My sister's an attorney. Yeah. I'm just like, man, whatever. I could care less. Do what you got to do. Like I told, when I got off the phone with Jay, and, and I called Jay, and he answered, and we we started talking, and I said, dude, you just, you just never learn. He's like, what are you talking about, Dale? These are all fake. I said, Jay, he opened his message up, and it was a message from you, and he starts typing, and you're typing right back. I said, and it was at 1130 this morning. I said, so tell me that wasn't you. You know you could fake that. I said, how are you going to go into a, take one phone and record your other phone, and you go in and you hit Instagram, and you hit message where you sent him a message, and it opens up, and it's you telling him, this is what we got to do to Dale. And then all of a sudden, you start telling him everything. Saying, yeah, I want his family exposed, his dad exposed. I want people going to his house. I want his job. I want to find out his new steel building. And you start telling all this. And you say, you say, exploit his kids. Everything's off or nothing's off limits. What he said. Yeah. And then I, I called Jay out on it. And Jay's like, I didn't say it's all fake, Dale. It's all fake. You're, you're falling for fake stuff. No, Jay, you fall for fake stuff. You can't you can't fake how that was that whole video you can't fake it and I kept it and I saved the video and I have it so if I need it if it's ever there I have it and now, do you think and, 
down, there's no there's no chance of just squashing it man to man, like, you know, having a conversation or you're ready to go. Oh, and there there no. I'm 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 to the point. I'm going I'm going back to the old Dell chance before 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 I ever had kids. <laughs> I don't I, I'm not gonna talk. That's just it. There's no talking to it. It's just walk up, beat the shit out of them, go home. And not even break not even not even break my day, just keep going on. That's just that's just how well, it's gonna be. I don't care. And Chuck E. Cheese can record this. I don't care. Everybody can go send it to Jay. That's fine. Jay is a coward. He is a coward. He's never gonna he's never gonna face to face with anybody. Just like the only reason he went to box you, Adam, is because he thought he would dominate you. And guess right. what? He got his feelings hurt. And it was the best thing. Karma was the best that day because he was such a pussy. He tore pay all that steroid, all that 500-pound benching for nothing. To go out there and start trying to windmill punch somebody, and then you start <laughs> punching him in the face, and he tears his peck trying to trying to throw his head away. Yeah. I mean, and me personally, if I was you, I, Lou, Lou said it best. Just hit. I'd have just went over and started welling <laughs> on his guy. I would have just kept Lou. Lou. Lou was the best, best, best instigator that day. He was the best. Hype, he was the oh, best hype man. God. Yeah. That's and I love Lenny to death, but no, Lenny was no, like, "Oh God, he tore it. Who cares if he tore it? No, That's what he that, gets for running his mouth." None of that would have happened if Lou wasn't there, because Lou is the person who's like, "We got to go right now," because the park rangers were were fucking getting the cops and everybody involved. Well, the thing is, Jay wasn't Jay wasn't going to start. You know why? Because exactly what happened that happened, he didn't want that to happen. Because if he something happened, you beat him up. He would never. It would never hear the end of it. The internet's forever, forever. You're always going to be the Jay Master Slayer forever. <laughs> the Jay <police> Slayer. <laughs> the Jay Slayer. That's it. That's that's that's. So they want to make they want to make action figure dolls of me and me and Cheryl. That's fine. Then what we'll do is we'll make Jay Slayer T-shirts with you with you beating him up like. Um, Remember, remember the movie Rocky Two. Whenever they're the Apollo Creed's holding the Italian chicken, yeah. that's what we'll do with you holding Jay and the, Michi the Michelin Man. Well, you have to remember, I never threw a punch. Oh, yeah. that's, that's right. You you never threw a punch ever. Yeah. You you wasn't you wasn't even fighting back. You were running the whole you remember, time. Remember, I wasn't there. That was a fake Alt McCuck account. Oh, that that's that's I forgot. Dang it. I forgot. We should we should make sure the other we should go live with the other McGuck account just to make sure it's, it's not you, you know, <laughs> to make sure you're, you're telling Don't you the love truth. That? Don't you? I find that hysterical that you have to prove you're not me. You go live yeah. to prove you're yeah. not. That that's so. It's not, man, I don't have enough time for the shit I'm doing now. What the? Let alone five hundred accounts. I mean, it's like. Man, these these guys have no. And I, I'm going to tell you, a lot of this stuff, a lot of these trolls, is hilarious. I, I laugh so hard; it's so funny. But yeah, when they there's, they a, good, there's a good one that they um uh, uh uh God, what's the name of the account? Five, uh, five chins Cuban. Oh my God, the shit he put when I posted that shit about about cringe, you know, YouTube videos. He said mm -hmm. something on the lines of is posting videos of me struggling with the, the Oreo cookie bags. Is that okay? Because I'm hurting over here. I was done laughing. Well, that's just like Transform X. I mean, that, that guy, man, the stuff he posts, it's, it's, it's hilarious, man. And then, you, you know, you got, you got to be a freak. He's always going to be great. And Chuck E. Cheese. I mean, Chuck E. Cheese puts, I mean, like, you know, you know all about him. I know about him. And, uh, I mean, I, I block I block Chuck E. Cheese because really I need to unblock him because I actually I like him a lot. It's just I, I figured you know he was playing both sides and and I got to thinking about it. You know, there's a lot of stuff between him and I that we've talked about off yeah. of this, yeah. and he knows a lot about me. And I know a lot about him, right? And none of that's ever came out, so I can't say that he's playing. I can't say that he's playing. A, Jay against me or me against Jay, I think he's in it just for the mints, really. You know that's how I kind of feel about it. You know it. what I learned about that, and this is my sense on that, that some of these guys are so deep in the weeds that they they just roll with it, you know, they they, they and they feel like if they excommunicate themselves that they're going to be a target. So that's what I've learned from talking to some of these guys that will come to me and say, this is fucked up, look what they're doing, this is messed up. 
but they'll never remove themselves from the situation because they feel like then they're going to become a target. You know, and, and actually that's a very good point because one of them that did remove himself a while ago, uh, he actually a year ago was, you know, telling me about, he's like, look, man, I'm not into that going after your family stuff. He said, these are the orders we're getting every day. He's like, I'll be at work or at the gym and I'll get this. If I don't respond quick enough, then they think that I'm, that I'm, and he said, you know, people always say it's McLeod's account. He's like, he's like, man, I just got tired of it. He said, these people have no lives. And he's like, look, man, it's just, he's about. like, huh? I know who exactly who you're talking about. I had the same exactly. Idea. Exactly. And I'm just like, you know, man, I said, look, man, I hate that you even had to deal with this crap. It's just that bad that a 50 something year old man is worried about nine other people's lives because he's such a loser. I mean, it's it's like, dude, be a loser and just whatever. Go on about your day. Why do you have to wake up in the morning, scratch your little teeny tiny balls and go, oh, my God, I wonder what Dale Chance or Adam McLeod or Johnny Bravo is doing today. Let me go ruin my life thinking about what they're doing. It's like, what a sad individual. I left high, I left kindergarten 30-something years ago, man. It's like, grow the heck up. He's like the fat kid in the corner that 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 took everybody's lunch. That's what he. That's what Jay is. He's he's that pathetic. You know what's and the bad what, thing what, is, what, it, it pisses is all so bad that I mean, when I like I said, when I I, I was I literally, yeah, I was probably I was probably raging bad because I you know I don't I don't like a coward, I don't like a liar, and he's both of those. And I was telling him, he kept, oh, how can I do this? How can I'm like, Jay, here's the thing. When I see you typing, oh, they could fake that. It's not, how can they fake it when they go to Instagram and open your message you just sent them? That's very, and hard, then he's, to, that's very hard to fake. Exactly. I mean, especially when you have two cell phones. You got one that you're, you got an iPhone that you're typing on and you're filming with the Android. Yeah. These two, I'm telling you, man, these guys, they have way too much. And, and then this guy's like, look, man, he's like, I, I'm I'm not, he's like, I'm all for busting balls. And he said, I post shit about you all the time. You see it all the time. He said, you actually laugh about it and like it. He said, but this going after your dad, your father, and your ex-wife who has nothing to do with this because because I went on and I, I made a comment on a, a post that he was in. And I was on Cuban's post. Somebody sent me Cuban's thing. So I commented on it about Jay. And then he got so butthurt. And then boom, there it went. And then just like last night, I'm there. Somebody's like Cuban, and I was like, I was like, I don't even care. I could care less. I'm going with my girl, and I'm going to hang out. I could care less what's going on over there. I said my piece, and it is what it is. And then everybody sent me Jay's thing this morning. Like, watch every time a car comes up, Jay's turning around looking. He's scared to death. I'm like, good. He needs to be, because when I when he sees me face to face, it's going to be a different story. I believe it. I, I told people, I said, Dale's not fucking around. Yeah, and I, I don't have nothing to lose at this point. What the fuck do I have to lose? Somebody else. What, my business? That. Who the hell is this? Uh, whatever. Now, go ahead. Yeah. Well, what, what, what do I got to lose? They can't go after my business. I mean, what? Okay. They're, they're, they're trying so hard to find out my business, too. I think it's so funny. You know I think the, it's hilarious. You know what's a shame about that is that every everybody I have to work with, I'm I, like I'm my own employer like mm -hmm. employer now, but everybody I work with, like even AEW, I have to have this conversation and try explaining to the Tony Khans of the world in t 10 minutes what the piss is. You can't. No. No, so so like I told my business partner, I'm like this is this is this is what happens in this realm. I said, look, I'm I showed them videos. I said, this is what you can expect. They're like, well, whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, you, I'm you like, always get, they, get that like side grin from like the person. They're like, they 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 just they they it's 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 so idiotic that they can't fathom. Like all I break it down to is like online stalking. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Pretty much, and, and like, like you know, I'm just like, it, it's a sad world when yeah. people are that involved or that worried about what somebody else is doing. And you yeah. know, I, I get a lot of questions all the time. Well, 
you know, Brad, Brad and Andrew really, they don't like you. And I said, well, you know, if they don't, I said, it's pretty weird that we talk a lot all the time. I don't talk to Andrew as much as, as I used to, but you know, and I know Andrew's Jay's friend, Andrew stays quarter. I have nothing against Andrew for that. I, I think the world of Andrew, right. every time I go down there, I make sure a point to go. I mean, shoot, he had COVID and I went out to lunch yeah. with him because I wanted to see him. I mean, it's, it's, I, I enjoy Andrew as a friend. Brad, I enjoy Brad as a friend. Brad will be up here um, in April. We'll be, trust me, there will be Coyote Joe videos and hanging out with old Hillbilly Dale. Yeah. So, I mean, and, and, and like when, I'm, when I get to see you, I get to come down there. Every time I come down there, I try, well, you were sick last time I couldn't see you when I was down there. Yeah, yeah COVID last time, that's right. And, but it's, I have a general friendship with you guys, right. you know? These other trolls, their name, they, what, what do they have any reflection on our relationship? Nothing. They'll always try and put all of us at each other, but we know the truth. Yeah, we yeah. know how we it's know the, how we really are. It's the same thing. John Bravo told me he's like, oh, I'll, I'll put out there in the world what Andrew and Brad really think of you. I said, go right ahead, go right. It's not, it's nothing I haven't heard before from trolls from years or what I tell myself in front of the mirror. Like it's yeah, I saw, I saw that, yeah. that You know, that's, that's a good way to be like that. And, you know, with, with Johnny Bravo, I, I've never – I mean, the only thing that I can say that, that you know, he that rubbed him the wrong way is that time I was with Jason, and, and I thought Jason had fake gear, and, and Johnny had done a documentary with Jason's gear. And I was like, that's fake gear, man. That's not real. And Johnny got so mad. He's like, man, he's discrediting my work. He's mad because I'm not putting him in the documentary. So I called him. I said, look, man. I don't care that I'm not in the documentary. I said, I didn't know you had all that in the documentary. I said, to me, it looked like it was fake gear. I said, look, man, it's my fault. I'm sorry. You thought I'm not trying to discredit anything you're doing. And he's like, oh, I was like, he's like, oh, okay, man. So we actually talked about it, got everything squashed. Never had a mixed word since. And then, you know, he had Eleanor. I bought a couple classic Mustangs. And, you know, that's kind of what we talk about whenever we yeah. talk. Mustangs and... You know, we don't even go into the, the stupid shit. I mean, he did message me yesterday about Jay, you know, because Jay was doing the same thing to him, doing the same thing to John Romano. It's like, yeah. what in the world does John Romano have to do with any of this? He has nothing to do with the misfits. I, Why is he going to be brought up? I don't understand that stuff, and I'm sorry to cut you off. But it, like, I don't understand. Like, I, I get a lot of stuff about go after John Romano. And first of all, like, you're telling me to go after somebody doesn't go anywhere. I'm like, what is, I don't even know, like, other than being an RX muscle, I don't even know who John Romano is. Yeah, they were talking about stuff that he done, but I care less what he done in 1990. What does that have to do with me? What does that have to do with today? Right. Nothing. Right. It's not affecting my life one bit, so why should I care what that dude's doing or what he did 25 years ago? Yeah, I don't get and it. it. And then another thing, you know, they, they so I have this one. He was on Joe Piataro's live the other day and was talking, and he just starts going off on, you know, how could you, you know, abandon your family and all. I mean, look, they have no clue what went on, what happened with Cheryl and I, nothing. Right. You know, and the, the speculation that everybody throws out there, they have, me and Cheryl actually have a very good, very good yeah, relationship. That's being nobody's divorced. business, man. That's, that's your business. It, I know it's not, but the problem is they, they project everything and they throw it out there and then they start trying to bug her. and. It's, it has nothing me. I have it has nothing to do with her. And then they're trying to go after my my girl now, now my girlfriend now. And they're you know they're like oh who is she? It doesn't matter who she is. Yes, she's fifty one years. Who cares how old she is? Age is nothing but a number. Right. Absolutely. And I wouldn't trade anything anything for her. She is a phenomenal person, and we complete each other. And that's why. And that's why I told her, I said, look, you need to go private. I don't want you involved in this garbage. Yeah. You know, and she knows all about all this stuff. She knows all about it. And, you know, it's it's none of their business who or what she is because I don't want them trying to find her and dig into her past or dig into her, her family because they have nothing to do with me. Oh, well, that's what they're doing right now probably. Oh, I, oh, they are. Oh my gosh, they they message. I get messages every. Oh, what's your girl's account name? What's her number? What is this? What she look like, bro? I'm I'm not a troll. I just want to see if the rumors are true. I'm like, yeah, her name is D. D what? D's nuts, bitch. <laughs> I'm like, there you go. Just leave it at that. That's when they were 
<laughs> trying to find they were trying to find pictures of of my kid's mom and 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 I was like, good luck. She's never had a a social media account once. She doesn't believe in it. She doesn't yeah. even have a LinkedIn account. Doesn't have any. She's never. She's never had a Facebook. So good luck. Yeah, I mean it's. Dude, at the end of the day, here we are, two grown-ass men on a Saturday night sitting here talking about what trolls are doing and what this loser's got well, these 10 people well, with 1,400 accounts doing. Well, I said before, it's like, you know, and either either Andrew said this or Brad has said this multiple times. You know this. I know this. Once you're in this, you can never escape it. For, for yeah. another 30 years, they'll be talking about Spanish River Park. They'll be talking mm -hmm. about coming down facing Lenny, the Ruby, all this stuff. It, it'll never go away, ever. I'm actually I'm actually thinking about competing in this year's Ruby, by the way. <laughs> I've I've actually I've actually been I've actually been cleaning up my diet and I've actually been training really hard. I've been doing a crap ton of of heavy lifting, a crap ton of bodybuilding training with uh, me and me and Kyle. We got some uh, reels out, but uh, and uh, Samurai Jack. But um, yeah, so I I've really been to tossing the idea around just to come back down there and uh, try and get third place again. Yes, there you third go. place there. I um, I told you about AEW, but I yeah. I know that. I know Brad's going up there at the same week AEW is happening. Yeah, so I was talking to him, and he he said he was going to be here. So I'm pro I won't be able to make that one. But like like I said, then if you come to Charlotte, let me know. You can just come stay with me. If oh, you're going to wow. be here for a few days, come stay with me. Yeah, AEW hasn't been back to to the North Carolina area in a, in a, since I think the last time. But the next time it's there, I, I I try to like I have this thing where I fly in and fly out, <laughs> like. Mm -hmm. I, you know, but I got to, I got to add more time to the travel. You know, I just like back then I was, I had a full-time job, you know, mm -hmm. W and then now I left my full-time job. I started my own production company, started my own IT company. So yeah. I have flexibility. So definitely. Yeah. For sure. Well, I do. I'm, I'm only like 15 minutes from the airport. So Sweet. yeah, so I'm not far at all. So Sweet. yeah, like I said, you can just come, come chill with me. Yeah, for sure. I'll take you to Coyote Joe's and we'll go we'll go cow tipping or some redneck stuff that I want you know I suppose we'll do every weekend. I want to go sit up in the tree. Oh, we can do that. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> we can go we can go night hunting. We can go shoot some, uh, some stuff in the What I want to do is I want to go up in the tree. I want to jump off and scream, yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> make sure make sure we'll we'll bring an umbrella so you look like you're trying to fly. <laughs> we'll make that a Dale Chance driving school uh tutorial. There you go. Now, this is how how you do it? You get up there, and you jump off and run at the same time. You say, "Yeah, buddy!" Bang! Yeah, you break your leg. And then you come in third place in the hospital. <laughs> All right, man. Well, it's good talking to you, man. You too, man. It's always a pleasure. We'll talk, man. Yeah, buddy. All right, be easy. See ya. Later. Later. You got to click out of it. There you go. All right. Well, you heard from the famous Dale Chance. Conversation's getting a little awkward. Who is this? I don't know who that is. Big Schnee wanted to go live, but I only go live with people I know. I saw a lot of the things you were writing, so uh, that's a big no there. Yeah, buddy, there's a question here. Oh, look look at this. Here we go. Let's put this on. Let's put this one up for everybody. Big Schnee, why do you think you're a part of the Misfits? I don't. I've said that long, long enough. Hey, look. Yes, screen cap this guy. You ruined the misfits. Just another one of the same old, same old. You want to go live? Yeah. I know exactly where that's coming from. Uh, there you go. Goodbye. Not blocking. 
hey, what happened? She's got kicked out. I think what happens is when somebody's going live with somebody else um, and they leave, sometimes people get kicked out. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. This is great. I get to I get to uh find out who some of these guys are. Well there you go, Dale Chan said it right there. If anyone ruined the mistress, it would be the trolls, and that's very true. So if you're gonna come in here with accusations and don't know what you're talking about, adios. I'm not blocking you. Uh, and typically if it's if i kick out one person from the live and they join another account it's just a troll that has multiple accounts and you could tell by how things they're they're saying the same things for us tiger how did you get involved with the misfits uh i was always a fan and then i i i live in south florida and you bump into i bumped into brad and andrew watching the um Who's fine? Nunez and uh, Amanda Nunez and Ronda Rousey at Tilted Kilt. Uh huh. If it keeps freezing, it's a don't don't mind that. That's me doing that. All right, guys. Well, I've been on this for an hour. I'm about to get out of here in about two minutes. I hope you enjoyed this this chat with Churchill. I might turn that into a real series. But any more Pacific questions before I leave? Uh-huh. Any second now. Frosted Tiger says, every time I go to Costco, I see the Asian guy that started Jason on YouTube. <laughs> uh, Don Garbarino. I saw you write that before. Paul versus Fury. I, I have no idea. Is that is that regular boxing? Bare knuckle UFC? I, 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 I don't. I, I know who Fury is, but I don't know who, who, who he's fighting or when he's fighting next. How's the weather? Excellent. I'm out here enjoying it. Chuck E. Cheese Ranch. Ariel Hawani's a bitch. Um, give me more specifics, specifics on that because I've been reading a lot about Ariel Hawani. What did he do that pissed off so many people? So give me specificity on the, the what happened with Ariel Hawani. Jim at Ryan Simony, are you going to save this live at me? Yeah, I'll save it. Are you serious, Don Garbarino? Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury? No. Oh. Don, do you want to come live and talk about that before I, before I dip out, or, or you don't want to show your face? I respect it if you don't want to show your face. I, I, I totally understand. I didn't know that was going down. That's how much I keep up to date with a lot of the other things going on. But I know Don Garbarino is a real person. Tomorrow. It's happening tomorrow. I'm going to have to look that up. I was supposed to be doing a bare knuckle event March 12th, and the fight got canceled. I was bummed out about that. The um, One of the guys I filmed for bare knuckle before, and you guys can find this on my IMDb, which you guys found. Congratulations. I'm on IMDb. I do fucking production work. But uh, the fight it was going to happen bare knuckle BKFC in Orlando, March 12th. And I just found out today it all got canceled. Well, not the whole event, but the guy I was filming for, he uh, tore his LCL. So that's not happening. But I will save this live so you guys can, can uh, get your rocks off. Tomorrow at 2 p.m., wow. Okay, here we go. This is what I'm waiting for. Chuck E. Cheese Ranch. He, inter he interviewed Tony. 
kept pestering him with questions he knew he couldn't answer, then said, interviewed, so oh, that, okay, I thought it was something new. This is about CM Punk. Okay, I thought something was new because I just saw recently people shitting on Ariel Hawani. So I know about that, but I think, in my personal opinion, I don't think Ariel Hawani was pressuring Tony Khan whatsoever. He asked him, and then he said, you just can't talk about it, you know, and, and – he said the interview sucked. That was a little harsh. I don't think I don't think the interview was harsh whatsoever. But Tony can can't talk about things when there's NDAs involved, which are non-disclosure agreements, and when there's maybe a possible lawsuit, you can't talk about things. I sign NDAs all the time when I work for people. How many wrestlers are? What is that? Ukrainian? Is that the Ukrainian flag? I don't know. Not sure. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Um, I'll save the live so like you guys, again, can enjoy and get a kick out of it. But I will see you guys when I see you, and I will leave you with the famous last words of my deceased grandmother, which is stay inside, don't do anything stupid. Adios.